In this video, we'll look at a method known as factoring by grouping. The idea behind factoring is to identify the things that are multiplied together to give us our final polynomial. So let's look at the reverse process first, which we're more familiar with, and that is just multiplying two binomials together. There are several ways to multiply two binomials together. One is to take the first binomial and distribute it onto the second. When we do, we get the 5b times the 2a plus 3, and we also get the positive 2 times the 2a plus 3. After we've done this, we would then be able to distribute the 5b through, giving us 10ab plus 15, and distribute the 2 through, giving us positive 4a plus 6. You'll notice that other than the very first step that we did, we almost looked at this problem in two completely different parts, the left and right side. This is the idea behind grouping. We're going to start with this result that we had, 10ab plus 15b, whoops, I lost my b, 15b times 3 is 15b, plus 4a plus 6. And the idea behind factoring by grouping is we're going to split this problem into two groups, the left and right side. And we'll factor each side individually. On the left side, we see there's a common factor of 5b. Actually, let's do this in green. When we factor out the 5b, we see we're left with 2a plus 3. And on the right side, we see there's a common factor of positive 2. And when we factor the 2 out, we see we're left with 2a plus 3. Notice when we've done this in groups, we end up with a matching binomial common factor. This is our goal as we factor with grouping. That 2a plus 3 is in common, and the remaining factor is 5b plus 2. Notice we found the factors that we had started with in the original problem. This idea of splitting down the middle and factoring the left and right sides is called factoring by grouping. Let's try a few examples where we can get really good at this pattern of factoring by grouping. Again, we'll, we'll look at 6x squared plus 9xy minus 14x minus 21y. Again, we split down the middle and look at the left side trying to find a common factor. On the left side, the common factor is 3x. When we factor out 3x, we're left with 2x plus 3y. On the right side, our common factor appears to just be 7. However, because there's a negative in front, we're going to factor out negative 7, always matching the sign of the first term. This leaves us with now positive 2x and positive 3y as we divide out the negative 7. Again, you notice we have the matching binomial that we're looking for as we factor by grouping. 2x plus 3y is our first factor. Our second factor is what's left when that is factored out, the 3x minus 7, and we have our solution. We could check this solution by multiplying it out using some multiplication method, and it'll give us the original expression. Let's try one more. When factoring by grouping on 5xy minus 8x minus 10y plus 16, we split down the middle right after the second term. On the left side, we see a GCF of only x. Factoring out the x, we're left with 5y, minus 8. On the right side, the GCF is negative 2. Again, using that sign that starts the first term. Factoring out the negative 2 leaves 5y minus 8, being careful with our signs. Again, we have the matching GCF binomial, 5y minus 8, and the other factor is x minus 2. That's factoring by grouping.